The more I read the Bible, this amazing book, the more I read it, the more I want to, the more I need to, the more refreshed I am, the more I want God to pour out his mysteries upon me, tell me the secrets of the universe and the depths of his heart, his nature, how he loves me and greatly the wisdom of his beautiful mind. He's given us a book and that is the Bible. And I've been praying for a long time, God help me read more. It's not just about reading, right? It's about understanding and writing it on the tablet of your heart as a verse says that it's the foremost thing in your thoughts is the word of God above the word of man. So I have been praying this for a long time and finally, let me tell you the day that this happened when God told me this really awesome simple command which has changed my life since. I just finished reading uh, some of the Bible and I said, God, talk to me. And wow, he led me out of the room right up to this window which I showed you in the kneeling and praying video. It was the same place, it was the same day that this happened. I'm kneeling down and I'm like overcome with the presence of God. He's so, he's so there, like he's always there but you don't always know it. But I knew at this moment, he's right in front of me. I start worshiping God and the Holy Spirit in me begins to bring up certain things that I haven't been keeping. I had told God some time ago that I would make his word my hobby because I loved it so much and I know it is eternal life. There was a time where I did that whenever I was free, I read and I was refreshed, I was encouraged. I would read it like three, four times a day and it lasted like a week and gradually it just faded off from my life. So I'm here kneeling before God and I'm saying, I'm so sorry I wasn't able to keep that. I've just been so busy and guys, I've been busy. I mean. You can see it reflected on this channel. I've not posted nearly as much as the previous years. There are a lot of things that God has enabled me to do for Him, serving Him. There are like three jobs that I keep up. And so here I am telling God, I'm so sorry, I've been busy. I know I need to read your word more, but I really don't know how. And here's what he said, very clear and very simple. Pick up the Bible instead of picking up your phone. When he speaks, it really pierces your heart, you know. I knew in that moment, yes, I have been on my phone way too much. Some of it is legit stuff, but most of it is unnecessary. Checking notifications, checking messages, did I work this properly? Uh, what did they mean when they said this? Too much, too much stress, um, too much scrolling happening. My screen time is off the roof, you know, it's, it's really bad. So when he said that, I was like, you're right. He's not telling me to keep the phone out of my life. I can continue to do what I need to do, but that's it. That's where it stops. I don't need to keep checking my phone all the time. I can keep particular times for that. God is not asking me to cut off um, the work that I'm doing or the interactions that I'm having, but to keep the phone in its place. Ever since then, I've just tried to do this. And uh, guess what? Not only have I been able to cut down my screen time massively. Not only has my phone addiction drastically reduced, but I'm able to read the word of God all the time. So I can be talking to someone and sometimes in a group setting and things kind of lull a bit or someone starts talking to somebody else. And these are like moments where you kind of check your phone. Instead of that, I just take my Bible with me and I just read a verse. Recently, there was some movie we were watching and I just did not. I just I was not getting it. And instead of checking my phone, which is what I would have done, I started reading the Bible. And true, it was difficult to do that when a movie is going on. But a verse is enough sometimes. Just for going to sleep, especially, this is so helpful. Usually I'm like checking my phone and then it goes down this rabbit hole, which is unstoppable. Even if it's a holy rabbit hole, it's still, when God tells me to go to sleep, I'm too far down the rabbit hole, you know, and it's unhealthy. <laughs> I'm now able to read the word of God. And this word is not just letters, it's him. So he's manifesting so much more in my life. I'm changing so much quicker. I'm transforming. I am able to focus so much better on his word and do what he's asking so much more. Like in every way, he's transforming me in the mind of Christ by this one simple habit. Now, as Jesus told the Jews, you search the scriptures and they point to me, but you don't believe me. So all the scriptures do, right? They're not to be worshiped. This is not to be worshiped. 
it's who the Bible points to that has to be worshipped. So here I am reading the word and it helps me worship the living true God through his son Jesus Christ who died for us, who rose for us, took our sins in his place when he didn't have to but he did it because grace. And I'm having the death of myself and the resurrection of the life of Jesus within me. And it is just incredible. That's why I had to share with you what's going on in this area. So I have to go. Thank you so much. I'm Vian Damaris. Turn to Jesus. Bye.